is up everybody welcome back to the channel today I want to talk a little bit about the epic night we had last night so today's Tuesday every Monday night Kristen and I play volleyball and we're in a co-ed league I've talked about it before I've showed clips of it before so when we went to the beach in Point Pleasant the beach was absolutely beautiful uh, the sun was out it was like a beautiful beach day but they were calling for rain they're like you know chance of rain and thunderstorms so we got to the beach everything looked great and all of a sudden, these black clouds kind of rolled in from the west. So when you have the ocean behind you, these black clouds just kind of came at us. And so we were playing volleyball, and the smart play would have been to you know pack up and go, but um, we were in a good game, and we were like, let's just keep playing and push it and just see what happens. So it started to just rain a little bit, and the black cloud just came over, it was a little windy, and then it got very windy, and then the temperature dropped by like 20 degrees. And then lightning started to happen. So we were like, all right, let's get out of here. And I think we waited a little bit too long. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you clips from that and just kind of how insane it got. But it was it was kind of fun. It was like when you were a little kid, I don't know if anybody was like me, but I played football when I was younger. And like, there was the days where it would be like downpouring, raining, and you'd be playing football. And it was just, it was a lot of fun until the lightning kind of ruined everything. And it even started hailing at the end. Um, so it was a pretty epic night. So stay tuned to the end of this video to check out some clips from volleyball. But some of the things I want to talk about, one, a new MacBook Pro that I just got, and it definitely makes me feel like an old man again because uh, I have the, the regular MacBook that I got in maybe 2000 and, I don't know, 13 or something. So I just upgraded to a new MacBook and none of, there's, there's no ports or like holes on this at all to plug anything into. It now runs off the new USB, like the new USB port, it's called USB-C. And it's like uh, just a smaller USB, so like your iPhone chargers, uh, they don't connect. Like the old school USB, you know how like the USB, like the big rectangle, you'd go to plug it in and it was like upside down, so you had to turn the cord over and then plug it. Well now the new USB, there's no like upside or right side down, but it's a lot smaller. So nothing fits, so you can't charge your iPhone on a new MacBook unless you buy these little silly adapter things which you can't see in frame. Um, it has no card readers on it, so like I went to take memory cards out of my cameras and you can't plug any memory cards into this, so I had to order adapters and wait for like Amazon Prime to bring them. So definitely like I can't keep up with technology. I'm trying so hard, but I'm just getting old. Uh, so some exciting news, we pulled two clutches. We pulled a clutch from a female pied and a female pastel het clown that bred for us last year and she made a killer clown. So she has proven. So hopefully the male that bred with her was a snake that Kristen bought at the auction at Tinley. It's a super enchi banana heck clown. So an enchi banana clown is what we're hoping for out of that clutch. Uh, we'll see what happens. So two clutches are now in the incubator and now we have a female banana that's ovulated and shed and she's like two weeks from laying. So we're gonna have three clutches in the incubator pretty soon, so I'm pretty excited. Our next video that we do is gonna be about a clutch that just hatched. So we had a clutch hatch, all the snakes are out of the egg, we're just waiting for them to shed. So the next video I'll do, I'll wait till they shed so that way you can at least appreciate them and the way they look. So we got nine babies, I think five females and four males. So I'm pretty excited and some of them look pretty awesome. So that's where we're at now. So we have two clutches in the incubator, a third that's gonna be going in there, a clutch that just came out of the incubator, and that's about it. The other cool thing is last night, I don't even wanna say it's a cool thing, I ended up sending a snake last night to uh, Sean. Uh, you guys probably know him on Instagram as BP Collector um, or on YouTube, I believe it's the same. His name's Sean. Um, so Sean does, he's an ex-military guy, uh, just got out of the military, just retired from the military, uh, maybe like, I, I think it was maybe like a month or two ago that he, he mentioned that he is out of the military. So first of all, thank you for your service. Um, Second of all, I sent him a snake that I really loved. It was a male fire clown, and it was probably one of the best looking fire clowns uh, that I have seen. And so I was very reluctant to sell it at first, and I posted it for sale, and uh, Sean reached out to me. We were talking a little bit. And definitely when you send a snake to somebody that you know or you follow, it makes things a lot easier because I was very picky about selling the snake because I was like, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. I really like him. Um, but he was like one of the snakes that we were like on the fence about and I just don't think I have a need for him and I'm probably gonna really regret selling him. And so this morning the snake got there and he sent me pictures of it. And like even the pictures he sent me, I was like, man, this snake was just, oh. It, it, it's definitely upsetting when you sell a snake that you love, but it definitely went to a good home. So make sure you go follow uh, BP Collector. I'll put his YouTube link into uh, the description down below. And I'll put his Instagram too, so you guys make sure that you follow him. 
and um, and see what he has, and let's see what he has in store for the snake. So uh, it's definitely cool when a snake goes to somebody that you like. So I'm happy and. Charles, congratulations on your new snake. And so the other thing I wanted to talk about today, the last thing I'll talk about before we show about these clips from the Thunderstorm volleyball game, uh, then I don't even want to say it's a new social media. It's like a, a new growing social media called TikTok. It's very similar to Instagram, um, except most of the videos that you'll take now are up and down. So like, you know, how on like Instagram, you'd like film this way. Well, now TikTok prefers videos like up and down. It supports like an up and down video frame better. So Kristen and I both went on and we both joined TikTok um, last night, I think it was, or yesterday. And so now we're competing with each other to see who can get more followers. So I'm gonna put the link, I don't even know, I guess there's a link, we'll figure that out. I'll put my name uh, down below on TikTok. So if anybody's on TikTok right now, um, comment down below what your username is so I can go find you. Cause again, I'm still trying to learn it as I go. So she's mad cause I think I'm in the lead right now with subscribers. So subscribe to my page, you subscribe to hers too if you want to, but subscribe to mine so I can try to outgrow her, I keep wanting to call it Instagram, her TikTok page, I guess that's what you call it. So again, I'm like a noob on the page, I'm just learning it. But if a new social media platform comes out, especially if you're a business owner, um, get on new trending social media sites and test it out and try it. I tried the MeWe one, uh, I think a lot of you guys do that. Kind of like a mix between, I guess, Instagram and Facebook. I just don't like the interface at all. I don't think it's like user friendly but it was a place that everybody went to because they stopped allowing you to sell snakes on Facebook. And that was a big platform for a lot of people. And I said it was gonna happen. I said, this is gonna come to a halt ASAP. Within literally the next month it happened. And they just banned people from selling snakes. They deleted groups, they deleted business accounts, and they just kind of purged Facebook from snake sales. So everybody jumped onto this new platform called MeWe. Um, and I went on there and I'm, I just don't love it. And I'm trying to figure it out. I just don't think it's user friendly whatsoever. This new TikTok uh, is very similar to Instagram. So if you like Instagram and you like their user interface, then you're probably gonna like TikTok. And so you might as well get your name out there. And by business owner, even if you're like a snake breeding hobbyist and you have the intentions of breeding snakes and possibly selling them, then you're just doing yourself a disservice by not jumping onto more social media platforms. So that's my tip for the day. Get on TikTok, get on any social media platform that you're not currently on and start posting. Just start posting content one time a day and let's just see if you can grow. Same thing if you're on YouTube and you're only on YouTube just to have a name to comment on people's videos, but you think you have content that you could post, start posting content on YouTube. Post on every social media platform that you can post on if you want your business to grow. So that's my advice, that's my tip for the day. So that's really it. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one snake real quick just to show off. I haven't showed it off yet. Kristen's doing an unboxing video and she hasn't posted it yet. She hasn't finished editing yet, but I'm gonna do a sneak peek and I'm gonna jump on before she can. So let me get the snake out. All right, so here we go. New edition. This is an albino granite Burmese python female that we got from Tier 1 Reptiles, a friend of ours. We met through uh, Blackstone Labs um, supplements. So he's a fan of Blackstone and uh, PJ Braun is the owner of Blackstone. He goes live, I would say, every morning um, for what he calls cardio Q&A. And it's just like a way that he can go on there and interact with people. And so I met uh, Justin through that uh, from Tier 1 and we kind of just talked a little bit. He had this girl up for sale. It was a snake he produced and it was cool because this is a one-year-old Burmese python. He also sent me a photo of when it was still in the egg when he hatched it. So that's pretty cool to have is when you get a snake like that is to know its history, its lineage, its parents, um, and to have photos of it when it's born and all that kind of information is pretty cool. So we added this female berm to our collection. Uh, again, she's a granite, which is a recessive gene. And she's an albino, which is a recessive gene, so it's a double recessive visual female um, that we are gonna add to our collection. So maybe we'll do an update video on all the berms that we have at this point so far, but she is pretty big. She's about 1,600 grams. I know in ball python world, we weigh all the snakes. Such a cool snake. Burmese pythons are slowly becoming, I think, one of my favorites. Up there, up there with Angolan pythons. Again, this is our new girl added to the collection. Now let's go check out some volleyball and let's check out some extreme volleyball in thunderstorm weather conditions on the beach.
turn the heated seat on in the car, we might get electrocuted. <laughs> might shock the bus. I took the Mustang. Terrible decisions on our part. Yeah, this is fucking 